Yahoo News, together now with ABC News. It's time to see the whole picture. Hello to all of our fans online. I'm Mohamed Lila. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this New Year's Eve edition. It's Tuesday, December 31st. Well, on one of the coldest nights of the season, residents of a small North Dakota town are being told to evacuate their homes after a collision between two trains triggered explosions. One train was carrying grain, the other oil. Some of the grain cars derailed and struck the tankers, sparking at least four different explosions. No injuries have been reported, but the thick smoke could be a health hazard. The temperature there right Right now is around 20 minus, or minus 20. Meanwhile, a little girl is recovering after a frightening fall down a 50-foot well outside her grandmother's house in western Georgia. It took more than an hour for emergency crews to lift the 7-year-old to safety. The smallest firefighter on the scene had to be lowered down the narrow well to get her out. She suffered numerous broken bones and other injuries. And there are new guidelines for heavy smokers. An influential panel of doctors is advising high-risk current and former smokers to start getting annual CT scans. The exams can detect lung cancer early. The recommendation applies to people between 55 and 80 who smoked a pack of cigarettes a day for 30 years or two packs a day for 15 years. And what's in a name, you ask? Well, for a Hawaiian woman, the answer is 35 letters. That's how long her last name is, and now she's won the right to have all of those letters, plus a special punctuation mark on her driver's license and state ID card. Previously, the IDs only had room for 35 characters, including both first and last names. Her next goal, getting a social security card with her name on it. You know, I really hope you can see what the name is, because there's no way we're going to even attempt it. Uh, I don't think we have time in the newscast. <laughs> I think you might be right. <laughs> well, you can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Mohamed Lila. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Tonight, Alzheimer's disease. Over 5 million Americans may have it. Now, some promising news in the fight to slow down this deadly disease. It's a World News exclusive you can't afford to miss. Tonight on World News with Diane Sawyer on ABC.